Hi guys! Today I am going to tell you my thoughts on the InStyler Max two-way rotating hair tool. This is a tool that claims to straighten better and faster, I believe, than a flat iron. This is a product that retails for $100, and before we even get started, I'll tell you it was sent to me to review for you guys. Um, this has a 30 second heat up time. It shuts off automatically, which is always a plus. Um, it heats up to 425 degrees, and it's got four different heat settings, which are indicated here. I have notes in a notebook because I'm so official. Um, the bristles on one side of this, so the bristles are ionic, they help to prevent frizz and smooth the hair. The barrel part here is made of tourmaline, I've never quite known how to say that, but that's what it is, tourmaline barrel. The barrel itself is um, an inch and a fourth, so an average size curling iron barrel size I'd say. It has a six foot cord and it comes with a few things I'll show you. So it's really nice that it comes with this, which is a little heat pad. So you can lay this on your bathroom vanity or wherever you do your hair. So you've got the little heat pad that comes with it. It comes with this guard, which is kind of nice when you're just getting the hang of it. It clips onto here so that um, it's not as easy for you to accidentally touch it and burn yourself. And then it has this, which is called a cool tip, and you um, put this on the end here. And that is meant so that you could touch it while you're using the iron, but I don't recommend you use this because it was not cool for me, um, meaning not cool as in it ripped my hair out because it adds this little extra piece here. And you know, if your hair gets too close to the end of the barrel, it'll get caught and wound around this and it'll rip your hair out. So I don't recommend using this, um, just sit it aside use it as a top hat for a mini snowman. Just don't use it on this because it was scary. So what you do with this is, I don't have it on right now for safety reasons, but you make sure that the barrel is rotating in the direction of your hair. So this should be going this way on this side of my hair. You put your hair on top of the barrel, you clamp it down. As soon as you clamp it down, you start moving it down the hair shaft and it will be rotating this whole time. InStyler says that this is a better um, way to straighten hair versus like a straight iron, which I'll grab. Hi. Um, so a flat iron, straight iron, whatever you wanna call it, actually just sandwiches your hair between two hot plates and it goes that way. And then this is a totally different way of doing that because it's got bristles and a barrel and it guides your hair through with the bristles and uses this barrel to smooth and rotate um, the hair as you pull it through. So you can use this for straightening, which I think is kind of the main purpose of it, but you can also use it to create volume at the roots and create beachy waves, curls. Um. Okay, so I am going to start with this first section here. They say one to three inch sections. So when you are straightening, you are gonna to wanna to make sure that the barrel, which is this, is on the bottom. So your hair is going to be going over the barrel and you are going to want to have it rotate in the direction of the hair. So I'm going to want it to go down. So to make sure, yep, so I need to change the direction, which I'm gonna do by double clicking. Now it's rotating the other way, okay. So I'm gonna place that under there. You can get it right at the root, which helps with volume. Once I clamp down, this is going to rotate the barrel and I'm gonna move it down with it. So it's rotating. The little um, ionic brush bristles on top are brushing through my hair. And if you wanna kinda of round it off at the bottom, you can. So as you can see, this piece is straight. Let's compare it to this wavy thing. Um, so I went somewhat slow. I need to go pretty slow with any sort of styling tool like this because my hair's never been chemically processed and it takes more heat and time um, to allow it to form shape. But I do think slower is better in general um, just to make sure that the hair has enough time to heat up and be smoothed out. I'm holding onto the end which I find helps keep it on course. And you wanna make sure you get the ends in there and I'm kinda of doing this. I'm sorry, you couldn't see that. Um, I'll show you again what I'm doing at the end to kinda of give it that finished 
rounded off appearance. You don't have to do that, um, but I think it looks a little more, you know, like maybe you got a blowout. It's got this nice little rounded turned under edge. So getting it up under the root there. Move it on down. I'll show you at the end here. I'm kind of doing this to give it a little bit of that nice bend. When you want to create a flip at the end, you're actually going to put the hair under the barrel and go this way with it. So same method, but it's flipping that hair upwards at the end. So that's an option. Now the InStyler does say that you can use this tool to curl hair as well. So just like you can use a flat iron to curl your hair, you can use this as well. So let me show you, I'll show you how it says to do it. Um, what it gives me is not what I consider curls, but still kind of a, a casual, like lived in curl wave that I do like. It's just not at all what I would call a curl. You're going to take your piece and you're going to wrap the entire length of the hair around the barrel. So I'm going to wrap it and hold it there. Like I've got the, the ends there and rotate for five to 10 seconds. Now open the barrel and let your curl drop. And I mean, I don't consider this a curl, but I don't dislike the effect either. This is kind of what I'm going for, to be honest, a lot of the times is this kind of disconnected wave that's not a perfect curl. So I'll show you that again, because it is kind of confusing. This took me a while. This is, this is a technique I had to ask them about because I was like, am I doing this right? So I'm wrapping it around the barrel like you would a curling wand. I'm rotating the iron for five to 10 seconds. It's gonna be longer for me. My hair takes more heat, like I said. So open the InStyler and let it fall. I mean, you kinda have to, what, what is this? Oh my gosh, okay. There we go. Um, I don't know what I'd call these. They're not curls and they're not waves, they're like, their own new shape. I think this would be really cute on a shorter hairstyle. So these are um, my layers that are shorter. If you had hair like this length, say, I think that this formation, um, cause I don't know if I'd call it a curl, I think it would be really cute. Because really you can't have hair too long or you probably won't be able to wrap it all the way on this barrel. So I don't think this would speed up curling your hair in any way because really, it's no different than wrapping it around a curling wand. And depending on your curling wand, you might not even have to hold it on as long as you do with this. And with a curling wand, you wouldn't have to listen to this noise. So yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's creating these interesting little squiggle turds. Um, I find that when I've used this to curl my hair, I end up doing this and kind of breaking them up. And then they just sort of become, I don't know, what should we call this texture? I mean, I don't dislike it. I like this kind of bend. Yeah, that's kind of what it creates bends in the hair. So while it is what I would consider kind of a flattering look, it's not what I would consider curls or waves. So if you're hoping to use this as your curling iron and flat iron, mm, you're gonna still need a curling iron or a curling wand, that's what I prefer. If you wanna go away from your face, you do it that direction. And you can have like the loose ends, so if you don't want your ends in, um, just don't wrap that part in the barrel. Sometimes I think it's easier on this side of my head I mean, they look a little bit more curl-like on this side. Well, that's neat. So this side is looking way better. This, I don't know. Let's see if I break these up. Yeah, it kind of looks the same. So if you have a layered haircut like I do, 
I do like this technique because it kind of adds more body and movement and texture to your layered hair. Um, my hair has to be layered because it's very heavy and I think this helps to really break that up. Okay, so do I like the InStyler Max? Do I think you should buy it? Can you replace your flat iron and your curling iron with it? Do I like it? Yes. Do I love it? Eh, not really. Do I think you should buy it? Well, if you have a flat iron that you're not happy with and you find that your hair gets caught in it, you have to do lots of passes, I think that this might be a gentler way of straightening your hair, especially if you do it every day. I rarely straighten my hair, but if you're a chronic straightener, you might benefit from something like this. I do find that this creates no frizz and it really is a nice smooth look and I think those bristles really help that and they kind of guide wavier, coarser hair through really well. You could replace your flat iron with it, potentially yes. Not your curling iron. I would still keep a curling wand or curling iron to create true curls and waves. Um, I don't think this does that as effectively. A few more things I want to note. Um, because this makes noise, it is kind of annoying. Um, my husband even commented on that. He texted me from downstairs because my makeup room is above his office and he texted me, are you using a power drill up there? <laughs> I wish, I wish I was that cool. But I was like, oh no, it's this straightening device. Like, do you hear that? And he said, yeah, that would be really annoying to use, I would think. And I mean, it kind of is. If you're listening to music or a podcast or something while you do your hair, like I often am, the noise is a little bit annoying. Um, I don't recommend using the cool tip. Uh, like I said, it'll rip your hair out. Um, I like that it has the heat pad. I think that's a nice extra feature. Uh, and I do like that you can customize the barrel rotation based on like what side you're working on to that it really like smooths your hair. So I thank you guys as always for hanging out with me watching this review. I hope it was helpful or entertaining at the very least. And I will see you again in my next video. Bye-bye.